Luke Ganelon is a fantastic young man. He's got a fantastic family. He's got a wonderful sense of self and is a hard worker. And those elements alone are just fantastic to have. But on top of that, he's, he's got talent, he's got sensibility, he's got respect, and he understands that it's a, an ongoing learning process. And you can't go wrong with that. Those are his tools. Those are his basic tools, talent and, and, and accessibility. Um, it's been an absolute surprising wonder to work with him. And he, he's, I, I, I just hats off to him and his family because you can't do it alone. The family support is most crucial when you're a child actor. And he has it. He has it in spades. I'm, I'm surrounded by an incredible cast. And Miriam Colon uh, is depth, is intelligence, is experience, is, is magic. And yet she puts it all in this, 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 this soul that is so giving, so wonderful, so charming. And she laughs about all of it. She has a sense of joy in her craft, a sense of, a sense of support for the rest of us to feel, to rest on, and, and is our quiet, incredibly powerful leader. It's interesting that the book's called Bless Me Ultima because the relationship between Antonio and Ultima seems to be her being the teacher. Uh, and most of the characters want her magic to help them in some way. But the, but the love through the book, the, the main river of love that comes through is, is how Antonio is able to forgive and see people all around him. Um, I think that Ultima and Antonio are of the same tree, almost of the same branch. And they have that same energy, that, ab that ability to love, the ability to forgive, the ability to see who somebody really is. Uh, and it's like looking into some kind of strange mirror where you could see another person but see yourself.